So, first of all, what is the mean? These terms, clear. You should understand the meaning of yes, term. What is the meaning of this term? It is very important. Formula I will tell you later. So, please write down the first of all meaning. Yes, write down the meaning. What is this specific heat? The yes, heat sir. capacity. Write down. The heat capacity of a given material material changes with the quantity of a substance taken. The heat capacity of a given material changes changes with the quantity of substance taken. First stop. Thus, a term known as a specific heat capacity, which is independent of the, which is independent of the quantity of matter is used. Yeah. The stop. Yes, That's quite the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of yes, a substance sir. by one degree Celsius. Very important. One degree Celsius. is called i will explain don't worry okay first we write is called yes sir is called the specific heat capacity of that substance yes sir its value remains constant for a given material Material full stop. The specific heat of water is write in important note. Note the specific heat of water is greater than that of any other substance. Very important. And its value is, they can ask the value. Yes, sir. And its value is 1 cal calorie per gram degree yes, Celsius. Sir. See, I am not writing the symbol of uh, Celsius sir, because I am simply writing uh, the degree Celsius. It is degree then C. Yes, sir. You should understand. Because of high, very important. Because of high. Yes. A specific yes, heat, a specific heat capacity. Water is used as a coolant in many application. Clear. Yes, now, first of all, understand the meaning of this. For example, if you have taken, yes, sir. I will draw. For example, if you, if you have taken uh, water in a beaker, water. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is water. Yes, sir. And you have taken in another beaker some different material. For example, yes, sir. you have taken any other uh, material, maybe it is uh, ethanol. You know what is ethanol? No, sir. Ethanol like uh, from the sugar cane we are uh, getting ethanol. Clear? 
So <laughs> ethanol, you don't know, just uh, let me show you what is ethanol. Ethanol is a chemical uh, substance. You see it here. Wait. Let it search. Meanwhile, I will explain. So, what is the meaning of heat capacity? If you take water, if you take ethanol, if you take ether, so every material, you can see this is ethanol. Ethanol. Uh, liquid ethanol. Did you see like a rectified spirit? Doctors are using yes, sir. You know, before if you have any like injury yes, sir. and for cleaning purpose they are using one they are using with a cotton they are using a like they are cleaning that part. Yes, sir. That uh, part uh, rectified spirit. Their ethanol. So cleaning purpose like you know like uh, during COVID like uh, many like hand wash, you know, we are using ethanol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, hand sanitizer, there we are using uh, like yes, sir. Yes, sir. ethanol. Ethanol is uh, act as like it will, uh, it can kill the microbes also. Or well, it acts as what is ethanol? It is a chemical compound yes, that is used as solvent. Yeah, in petrol. Petrol, we are adding, yes, we add petrol, we add ethanol in a petrol. Here it acts as a, like solvent. Yes, Brazil, like in Brazil, yes, like uh, Brazil is using ethanol as a fuel for their car. You know, this thing. Yes, sir, for fuel. Yeah, for fuel, they are using uh, ethanol. And like in beer industry, you know, beer, beer and those coke. So, they are uh, for wine. Yes, wine also, like it is ethanol. Wine is nothing, it's a ethanol. And ethanol is coming from where? Sugar cane. There, it's a chemical substance. It is. It has many, various applications. In uh, doctory line, it is. it has more many applications. Clear? In uh, laboratory also. So, this, com this compound, we should not, first of all, take ethanol. Because ethanol is highly dangerous for liver. It is highly yes, poisonous. Sir. We should not take directly. That's true. Yes, sir. Rectified yes, sir. spirit. These things like you will be more familiar. You can, whenever you go, if you get a chance, just uh, see the doctor clinic. You will see there is one rectified spirit, RS. Yes, yeah. sir. Now, what is the meaning of uh, this... Uh, from where this term specific heat capacity came. Heat capacity means, see, what is the meaning of heat capacity? Sir, um, uh, the amount of uh, heat that an object can take before it melts. See, if I have taken, no. For example, if I am taking a substance, That is having mass M. Clear? The amount of heat yes, that is required for M mass of substance in order to raise its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. That is heat capacity. What yes, is heat capacity? It is that amount of heat that is required for the amount of substance for complete body, clear. Yes, I'm sir. not saying I'm not saying uh, unit mass for complete body. For example, this phone, this phone is complete body, complete substance. So the amount of heat yes, which sir. I need to supply to this complete object, complete mass, so that the temperature of this substance increases by one degree Celsius. So how much yes, heat sir. I should apply to this entire mass? Entire mass clear this entire mass so that the temperature temperature increase by how much temperature increase by increase by one degree Celsius. What degree Celsius means initially if, if the object is having 25 degree Celsius temperature, then after increase of one degree, then it becomes 26. Then how much increase? Yes. One degree Celsius. 
So the amount of heat, the amount of heat that is denoted by Q. Q means amount of heat that we are giving. Amount of yes, heat sir. that we are giving, given to whole body, whole substance, so that the temperature raises by 1 degree Celsius. That amount of heat is known as heat capacity. Clear? If you yes, take water, yes, if you take ethanol, so every substance, every material is having different, different heat capacity. For example, if you take ethanol and if you take yes, water, then water has different heat capacity. Heat capacity, ethanol is having different heat capacity. So to avoid that confusion, we are using a term that is a specific heat capacity. A specific heat capacity. Clear? Yeah. For example, I have written yes. like this. What is specific heat capacity? The heat capacity of a given material changes with the quantity of substance taken. For example, if I am taking 1 kg of water, it is having different heat capacity. If I am taking 2 kg of water, it is having different heat capacity. If I am taking yes, 100 kg of water, it is having different heat capacity. Heat capacity means if you take... Mass is different, sir. Yes, if you take uh, water, 1 kg water, 1 kg water. It is having, it requires 2 joule, for example, in order to raise 1 degree Celsius temperature. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So, now, if I take, for example, if I take 100 kg of water, 100 kg of water, in order yes, to increase 1 degree Celsius temperature. How much change in temperature? 1 degree Celsius. How much, how much heat capacity required? For example, 100 Joule or 150 Joule. I am just taking one example. So you have seen for if I change the quantity of material, the amount of heat required to raise the temperature by 1 degree Celsius it is different. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. So, amount of heat is there 2 joule. Here, amount of heat is 150 joule. So, in every case, if you change the quantity of material, then the heat capacity also changes. Clear? Yes, sir. Then, because of that only, we are using a term. A specific heat. This specific heat is a that heat which is independent on the quantity of matter. If you take 1 kg of water, 2 kg of water, 3 kg of water, it never change. There? Yes, sir. So that is why it is known as specific. Specific means fix. Clear? But heat capacity vary along with the quantity of matter. If you take 1 kg of water, 2 kg of water, 3 kg of water, in every case, the amount of heat, the heat capacity will vary. Now, what is a specific heat? The quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of substance by 1 degree Celsius is called a specific heat of that substance. Here, yes, I will explain. The specific yes, heat sir. of water is greater than that, that any other substance. Its value is 1 cal calorie per gram per degree Celsius. What is this? I will explain each and every line. Because of this uh, high specific heat, capacity water is used as a coolant in many application coolant you understand in condenser in yes, atomic sir. reactor we are using heavy water because of high specific heat capacity water is used as a coolant now what is the meaning of specific heat capacity for example for if i take 2 uh -huh. kg of water 2 kg of yes, water sir. then uh, how much heat is required for example, 80 Joule is required in order to raise how much temperature? 
वन डिग्री सेल्सियस क्लियर नाउ फॉर वन के जी मास मीन यूनिट मास हाउ मच इट इज रिक्वाइड एटी बाई टू जूल पर के जी एंड पर डिग्री सेल्सियस यूनिट विल बी लाइक दिस हाउ मच फोर्टी जूल पर के जी पर डिग्री सेल्सियस क्लियर See again. I will I will explain. Uh, simple example. If you have taken two gram of water, two gram of water. Clear. Now for this two gram of water, I am giving how much heat? For example, one twenty joule. That's good. If I am giving one twenty joule, initially temperature is twenty five degrees Celsius. Once I give one twenty joule, the same water temperature rises by twenty six degrees. Clear? It reaches to twenty six. Same water, two gram. Clear? So a specific heat capacity means the amount of heat, the amount of heat that is. Am I audible? हेलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल एम आई ऑडिबल साई चरण योर वॉइस आई एम नॉट एबल टू लिसन यू बिकॉज यूर 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 यू आर एट म्यूट कैन यू हियर मी या या एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर ओके So for two same two gram of water, I am raising the temperature by how much? One degree Celsius. So the amount of heat that is required for unit mass of substance. Clear? For unit means for one gram yes, of water, how much heat is required to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius? That is known as a specific heat yes, capacity. Clear? Yes, sir. So for two gram of water. For two gram of water, how much heat is required to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius? One twenty. One twenty joule. This is known as heat capacity. This is heat capacity. Heat capacity. Heat yes, sir. Capacity, but it is not specific because it is required for two two gram. Yes, sir. But I want for one gram, like unitary method, cost of Into uh, four toffee cost is four five rupees. Then cost of one toffee will be five by four. You know this? Yes, sir. Similar here for two gram. How much it is required? One twenty joule. Now for one gram, one gram will be one twenty joule divided by this. How yes, much? Forty joule per gram. Clear. Forty yes, joule per gram, and you should write degree Celsius also because you are increasing the temperature by one degree Celsius. Then this is known as yes, specific heat capacity. Is specific heat capacity understood? Yes, sir. So what is the unit of specific heat capacity? Joule per gram per degree Celsius. Understood. Tell me. Yes, sir. Water is having high specific yes, heat capacity. Water is having water has high specific heat capacity. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning? Tell me. High specific heat capacity. Sir, I am. Sir, it will um um. It will. It needs more heat, sir. Very nice. I'm really impressed. High specific heat capacity means it needs more heat. For if you take one gram of water, it needs more heat in order to raise one degree Celsius temperature. Clear? If you take yes, one gram of water, initially it is at twenty five degree Celsius. Then in order to reach Twenty-six degrees Celsius. The amount of heat that is taken by the water, that is Q, 
it is very very high that is specific heat there if you take yes, one gram sir. of water because what is the specific heat it is the amount of heat that is q q is the amount of heat that is required to raise yes, the temperature sir. of any substance by 1 degree celsius but amount of heat yes, is known sir. as a specific heat capacity for unit mass we are using for unit mass we are using a specific heat a specific a specific heat clear yeah? yes sir yes for sir for complete mass complete mass okay entire object yes sir that first definition can you show sir yeah sure heat capacity yes sir Wait. For unit mass, we use specific heat capacity. For entire mass or complete mass, we are using heat capacity term. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Is it clear? This is the specific heat of water. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Any problem, any doubt to you? No, sir. No, sir. Now write down factor affecting. What are the factors affecting the specific heat? Write down. Factors affecting the heat gained or lost by a substance. First, write down the mass of substance. I'm denoting by small m, okay? Yes, sir. Next, the specific heat of a substance. Heat of the? What is used to measure the temperature of the sun, sir? What? What is used to measure the temperature of the sun? What is used to? To measure the temperature of the sun. Actually, we are measuring the amount of radiation. That is, uh, you will learn this topic like white body radiation, black body radiation, gray body radiation, radiation in more in depth. We are we can't reach uh, sun. What we are saying because in the scientists uh, have placed certain instrument in the space and uh, they are checking how much radiation. How much radiation are entering? They are entering to our space. So on the basis of amount yes, of radiation, you will learn class, uh, maybe in class 12, this topic. So on the basis of amount of radiation, there is a one formula like E is equal to this formula. E is equal to sigma A t to the power 4. This is T1 constant. Here, so Q it is E is the amount of heat radiated or absorbed. Don't go in there, yes, but this question we will calculate like this. You will use this T is the temperature, A is the area, sigma is a Stephen constant. From the sun, yes, 
sun is having certain area a we will calculate sigma we know amount of heat it is radiated we will calculate with a certain instrument then t is the temperature we can know from that yes okay. sir but sir is there too. any specific device to measure What? sir is there a specific device to measure for uh, how to measure okay let me check how to check how to check how to measure the temperature of sun maybe some device is there spectroscopy analyzes the spectrum of light that i have said na radiation from the sun to determine the temperature based on emission and absorption line i have you will learn solar probes we are using solar probes instrument on a space craft based on various properties of the sun providing direct temperature data clear radio telescope measure the intensity of sun's radio waves to infer temperature i told na radiation understood yes sir simply very easy so to understand the concept like radiation only the concept we are measuring with the help of this is our sun there yes sir let me show you this is a temperature like you can see core temperature how much chromosphere photosphere corona mm -hmm. prominence there this player yes sir god is very supreme okay one who made the sun from where like very very can see 12000 degree celsius 5500 how much is it high is this a flare can you see this this is this line this yes sir the flare it be f l a r e ready this flare is a uh, because of this flare only we are any body it is very very high temperature now it always emit radiation yes sir like this so there are various probe scientists already have uh, put it there and they are measuring the temperature spectroscopy we are seeing Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. And this is the data on the sun. I think no need of that. You can see this because of sun only, na everything is happening on our earth. This is yes, our sir. earth. Uh, let me show you. you can see this diagram can you see arctic yes, circle tropic of cancer this is equator middle line is equator there is it this is tropic yes, of capricorn and arctic antarctic uh, circle south pole north pole arctic top is arctic bottom is antarctica clear middle is yes, equator sir. above tropic of cancer bottom tropic of capricorn now this is a light yes, polar zone temperature zone tropical zone temperate zone this is polar zone clear yes sir so you can see this is direct sunlight the at equator direct sunlight have you seen yes sir that is why the those uh, those countries which are on the equator they have more high temperature like africa it is at the equator that is why you will see the uh, people uh, have they are feeling very hot clear because yes, sir. those country which are at equator they have high temperature those who are living at arctic temperature is very less understood yes sir now is this point clear now write down Yes. Just a minute. Right on. Third point. The change in the temperature of 
the change in the temperature of the substance clear so you can write the one general formula q is equal to this is very important i will ask q is equal to m s delta t this delta sign na triangle shape this is delta delta yes sir this delta of temperature t is temperature it is final temperature minus initial temperature clear what is m m is the mass of a mass of an object or substance clear q is the amount of heat supplied or amount of heat supplied or amount of heat removed q is the amount of heat simply understood yes sir what is s s is a specific heat capacity a specific heat capacity clear yeah. yes sir so if i want to know s space s will be q by m delta t is it clear sajaran so is it clear yes, sir. so what is yes, the sir. unit uh, unit of uh, if this is a uh, calorie mass in gram delta t degree celsius the unit will be calorie per gram per degree celsius a unit of specific heat yes sir clear now write one question yes sir calculate the calculate write the question this term not write it down calculate the amount of heat energy required to increase the temperature of with temperature of 250 gram of water from 27 degree celsius to 67 degree celsius press stop and bracket write down specific heat capacity of water is 1 kel calorie per gram per degree celsius celsius clear solve this can you solve oh i will explain because i am giving time to you because uh, i always give time to my students let them try first then i will explain for Sorry, example this question you <laughs> see this question they are asking calculate the amount of heat energy they are asking q to raise the temperature of how much gram of water mass is given how much 250 250 how much from 27 degree celsius to d1 is initial is 27 degree celsius to d2 will be 67 a specific heat, a specific heat is given as is equal to 1 kel per gram per degree celsius clear then q will be formula is q is equal to m s 
delta t m is 250 gram s is 1 kel right with unit okay 1 kel yes, per gram per degree celsius delta t how much delta t final temperature minus initial It's a sound. Forty forty. Forty degrees Celsius. Understood. Now see, gram cancel out. Degree Celsius, degree Celsius cancel out. How much? Two fifty into forty Kel. Answer is two fifty into forty Kel. Two fifty forty Kel. How much? Ten thousand. Ten thousand what? Calorie. Ten. This much heat is required. Clear? Yes, sir. Now write next heading. Unit of heat. Write units of. Very important units of heat. Write down heat awesome. energy is measured in calories. Calories. The stop. One calorie of heat energy, very important. One calorie. What is one calorie? Definition of one calorie. They can ask. Definition of one calorie. Write on. One calorie of heat energy. One calorie of heat energy is the amount of heat energy. Required to raise the R A I S E to raise the temperature of one gram of water from fourteen point five degree Celsius to fifteen point five degree. Very important. Fourteen point five to fifteen point five degree Celsius. Here. Yeah. Yes, sir. However, however, calories are small. Calorie is a small. Unit of heat. Instead, a bigger unit is a bigger unit called kilo calorie. Kilo calorie. Clear. One kilo calorie is equal to thousand calorie. Yes, sir. You can write one. Right, one kilo like this. When one kilo calorie is equal to thousand kel cl. The stored. Yes. Right on. Nowadays, heat energy is measured in SI unit. As a unit is what joule. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Which sir. Is same as that of just same as that of energy, namely joule. Joule is the name of scientist. Okay. Yes, sir. Now write on 
through careful experimentation or experiments it is found that 4.2 joule of 4 point this is very important 4.2 joule of work is required 4.2 joule of work is required to produce 1 calorie of heat 1 calorie of heat you know what is the meaning of 1 calorie 1 calorie means 4.2 joule of water Four point. It is found that yes, what I have explained. Four point two joule of work. It is not water. It is work. Clear it. How much work is required? Four point two joule of work is required to produce one calorie of heat. If you want to produce one calorie of heat, then how much work is required? One four point two joule. Clear. Yes, sir. It is found that yes, 4.2 joule of work is required to produce one calorie of heat. If you did, if any, if you did 4.2 joule of work, it means you are how much heat will yes, produce? One calorie of heat. One calorie. One, one calorie is uh, one calorie of heat is equivalent to 4.2 joule of work. Understood? Yes, sir. So, this is very yes, important sir. relation. 1 Cal, 1 calorie is equal to 1 calorie, calorie of heat is equal to 4.2 joule of work. Joule of work. Understood? 4.2 joule. 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joule. Yes, sir. Now you can see this uh, calor calo C A L term in biscuits. You know, biscuit on a packet of biscuit. I can show you also. Yes, sir. Biscuit. Parleji biscuit packet. Now uh, let me show you. It is not coming. Uh, once it is coming, then I will show you. Okay. Now write down. Yes. Next heading. What is one calorie? One calorie is over. Now what is one question? Write down. Yes. Actually, I don't know something. Some happening. Like something called. Okay. Is my screen yes, visible? Sir. Yes, sir. You can see like this packet, Scarlet packet. We have eaten this so many times. Everyone is eating. Yes, sir. I think back of the paper. Uh, maybe they have written very uh, small letter, okay? Like if I'm able to see you like, uh, you can see also. It's just coming. One calorie. Nutrition value. Uh, they have written kilojoule, energy in kilojoule. Somewhere it is written calorie also. Energy is kilojoule, they have mentioned. Uh, okay, you can check on packets, okay? It will be there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, one calorie is equal to 4.2 joule of work. When you are doing 4.2 joule of work, it means you are releasing how much heat? One calorie of heat. Understood? Yes, now, write down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of calorific? Calorific values, value of fuel. Calorific value of fuels. What is the meaning of this term? Write down. It is defined as calorific calorific 
value is uh, defined as the amount of heat energy produced it is defined as the amount it is defined as the total total amount of heat energy produced by the complete combustion of combustion of a unit mass of fuel unit mass of the fuel fuel understand petrol diesel so the total amount of heat energy produced by the complete combustion of unit mass of fuel that is known as calorific value clear so what is the meaning yes, of calorific sir. value calorific value is what calorific value means write the formula calorific value and denoting calorific value by c capital c it is equal to q by m what is q total amount of heat energy produced total amount of heat energy produced in bracket right on complete combustion what is combustion i will explain complete combustion what is m m is the mass of fuel for example you have taken complete combustion combustion means first of all see for example if i am taking any any substance like ch4 methane clear if i react methane with oxygen yes, sir. presence of oxygen i just burn methane then what you will get co2 plus water reaction balance yes, balancing of reaction then you will see complete combustion means you will see only co2 and water in the product by product these are by product by product means this is releasing as a product is different but this is releasing as a by product yes. we don't we are not interested in this but it is it is going to produce in between the reaction so if you see co2 and water this is known as complete combustion when entire 100% methane is reacting with entire oxygen then you will see co2 and water this is known as complete combustion complete combustion means no fuel this is fuel sir. yes sir this is fuel so if you one for example the mass of this fuel is m if you burn m mass of fuel then amount of heat energy produced will be q yes sir energy will be produced here q amount of energy release here yes, for if you take m mass of fuel how much energy produced q for unit mass of substance how much energy will produce q by m this q by m is calorific value calorific yes sir calorific value of a fuel yes sir are you understanding yes sir yes sir so for example you have taken uh, 20 kg 20 gram of petrol and you filled in your bike this is your bike you filled in your bike yes sir petrol you just yes, add 
after adding petrol if there is a complete combustion we are assuming there is a complete combustion we have seen on the back silencer there is a blackish things are coming from the back yes sir have you seen some unburnt carbon there if you see that yes, sir. black black coke inside uh, uh, that silencer clear at the back of that you have seen pipe from there the smoke is coming so yes sir that inside that that is dark dark black the dark black is unburnt carbon means some petrol is unburnt means it is not fully combusted you will say it is not a complete combustion it is incomplete combustion complete combustion means there should not be any unburnt carbon left this blackish part na you are looking it should not be there yes, sir. so if you take yes, 20 gram of petrol it completely consume and complete combustion is taking place complete combustion means co2 and water is produced then how much energy yes, release for example 100 joule this 100 joule of energy we are you are using in order to run your bike so from 20 gram yes, you can say 100 calorie not joule calorie so from 20 gram of water not water petrol how much energy you are producing 100 calorie 100. clear for 1 gram yes sir for 1 gram how much you will produce 100 by 20 calorie per gram that is 5 calorie per gram yes sir this is known as calorific value what is the meaning of this, this yes, is calorific sir. value it means if you take 1 gram of petrol how much energy it will produce or 5 calorie yes sir so higher the calorific value calorific value means if you take unit mass of substance then how much energy it will produce that is known as calorific value and you it is very important complete combustion of fuel complete combustion must be complete combustion means in out you will see co2 and water clear if you see carbon yes, monoxide in, as a by product if you see carbon monoxide as a by product it means there it is incomplete combustion in chemistry i think you have learned so it is the it is defined the total amount of heat energy produced by the complete combustion of a unit mass of fuel if you see in by product co the co if you are looking in by product then it is known as incomplete combustion understood yes sir if you see in by product co carbon monoxide then you will say it is partial combustion or you can say incomplete yes, combustion sir. This CO, CO, you can say it is coke, black coke that deposit on your silencer. Uh, partial, yes, partial sir. combustion. Yes, sir. So understood. What is the calorific value? Calorific value means it is the amount of heat energy produced when unit mass yes, of substance burn completely. If you take, if you eat food, clear. So, for example, you are taking a uh, hundred gram of rice, or you can say that hundred yes, gram of fuel. Rice is fuel. Clear. When it is entered, when it is entered in our body, then you have seen oxygen. We are taking oxygen. The food, the food yes, which we are taking from the nose, we are taking oxygen. This food plus yes, oxygen. This food is fuel. so when it when it undergoes complete combustion energy is produced yes, that energy is q for example if you have taken m gram of fuel or food so from yes, m sir. how much energy produce q for unit mm. mass q by m this q by m is what calorific value unit mass yes sir so you have seen like atp packets of energy atp capsule yes, adeno triphosphate mitochondria is a power yes, of the cell there like uh, this fuel is going uh, burning in presence of oxygen and you are looking uh, some energy 
So whatever it is happening outside, it is happening in our body also. Here yes, I can sir. give you mitochondria ATP. Energy is stored as a capsule, that is ATP. And your body continuously yes, using those capsules in order to do day-to-day -day work. Mitochondria. Yeah. Mitochondria, powerhouse of the cell. I will show you just a minute. You can see where is mitochondria. This is mitochondria. There. This is our cell. Yes, sir. In cell. Okay, it is in the inside the cell. See, God has given so many things to us. But we human being does not respect. Here, how energy yes, is stored as ATP. Can you see? See, to release the energy, what they are saying? Yes, sir. Just a it is about to come. Okay, some network problem. You can see what is a mitochondria? It is a powerhouse of the cell. So I will stop. Is my voice audible? Yes, sir. So I will stop this lecture today. Yes, sir. Tomorrow. You are, uh, I'm going to finish this tomorrow, tomorrow, maybe day of tomorrow. Clear? Because I have next class tomorrow, something. So, prepare yes, well, or you will meet day after tomorrow. And uh, this topic I will finish. Little bit uh, topic is left. Have you started like?